Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be covering a new mini update that came to the Wild West. Um, be sure to like and subscribe so we can hit 15k. I'll be doing some giveaways then, and uh, yeah, you won't want to miss it. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, first thing in this update, again there is a new item in the auction house, and again I am reminded at the absurd amount of money that people have hoarded in this LEGO game. So basically, uh, if you didn't know, the number one cereal of this item sold for 13 million. My head hurts, I don't know how to... I, I can't. Anyways, I was able to try this gun out because Trade Event actually has one and he let me borrow it. Um, more on that later. So the weapon itself does 60 damage to the body, and then 150 to the head, and then 40 damage actually for melee. So this gun, although it shoots very slowly, uh, packs quite a punch because it also counts as an axe basically, and you can swing it while you're uh, doing your everyday gun things. Also. It can cut down trees and it basically counts as a tier three axe so it's pretty it's pretty insane i don't know if it's worth the insane price point obviously i'm guessing most casual players don't have a million plus sitting around but it's pretty cool the fire rate is nine rounds per minute um which is really really slow but you can do 55 swings per minute which kind of makes up for it if you're in close quarters i would say this gun is only meant to be used to initiate a fight or maybe to use as like a melee in a crowd of people while you shoot, but definitely not a gun worth holding out for a long time. Um, the accuracy, it's pretty accurate, honestly. Um, I can't find any fault with that, but the ammo capacity is basically what draws it down. Um, it still is a very unique weapon, and I definitely think it deserves a spot in the auction house because it's pretty sick. I advise everybody to try it out when they get enough money or when it comes down in price quite a bit, but for now, um, here's some footage of me trying it out so you know, uh, just uh, can get a general feel for it, I guess. Oh yeah, and before I do that, um, there was, a, like I said, a revamp to Pinewood Forest. So I'll show a few clips of that now because it is a significant little spiff up here. You got like some cool little flowers, um, some new looking tree models. Um, it's not anything too crazy, but it is something refreshing to see that there's a little bit of a map change. Also, if you'd like to use faction chat, just do slash F in the chat. Um, and that'll put you into faction chat, which you can then backspace out of. But it helps if you can just communicate with just your faction without whispering people specifically, and nobody else will be able to see it. So that's a pretty cool addition to the update. Definitely a nice feature, but again, is overshadowed by the new auction gun, which makes sense. Anyways, here's the footage I promised of me using it. Also, fun fact, the Admiral's Axe Gun that I was using from Trade Event that he let me borrow um, was actually given to him because he helped animate the gun. So he had a, a serial list version of it and he let me borrow it 
but for some reason when I was trying to trade it back to him, it was telling me that I wasn't allowed to trade non-serial items, and so he ended up having me delete it. Uh, hopefully he gets his back. Kaz, if you're watching this, um, things went horribly wrong. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. If you want to like, subscribe, that would help me out a lot, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.